Welcome. It's great to have the Secretary of the Navy, the Honorable Ray Mabus, and Mick Pond Stevens here today to talk about the eSailor Initiative, piloted over the last year at Recruit Training Command. SecNav, Mick Pond, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. So Mick Pond, I'll start with you. What is the latest regarding eSailor and how is it being received? Well, it just so happens I was recently in Chicago at Great Lakes during the 4th of July weekend and had the opportunity to observe uh, our sailors in action with their tablets. Uh, we've issued roughly 1,400 of the tablets to date. Uh, we plan on uh, issuing a total of 4,000 and procuring uh, a number of 10,000 because you have to be able to re-image, load content, and afford opportunities for repair. Uh, we've developed 16 additional hours of content that will be loaded on the devices. So our sailors are already using them. I saw them using them. They love having them there, and it's already starting to have an impact on their ability uh, to learn. Oh, great, awesome. So, Mr. Secretary, how does the use of tablets help to train recruits, and what does it say about the Navy's innovation efforts? Well, it's the way that people before they become sailors, before they're recruited, mm -hmm. it's the way they're learning today. Right. It's the way that they communicate with the world, it's the way they get information, and so it's moving the Navy right there to the way people are already learning. And it's allowing us to put their studies, the things they need to know at recruit training, the things they need to know about their career, and uh, it's gonna allow us in the future to move this to a much wider audience in, in the fleet. But what it says is that the Navy is on the cutting edge. Uh, this kind of technology is, we are on all technologies. Okay, absolutely. So, Mick Pond, right now, eSailor is at Re Recruit Training Command, but what's your vision on getting it out to sailors in the fleet? Well, thanks to uh, the support uh, from leadership, such as Secretary Mabus, uh, affording us the opportunity to do this, where I see us in the future, uh, propel yourself, you know, 2025, 20, 2030, maybe even beyond, is what we would call a career companion. You either physically get a device or you get applications on your own device that start at the uh, entrance processing center and follow you throughout an entire 20 or 30 year career. Uh, we purchase you know, space in the cloud, so all your information is stored there. Uh, you get out of the service one day, you own that information, so you're no longer carrying photocopies of things with you. You're just uh, accessing the cloud to uh, get your information. Uh, then we, of course, we want to move it on to our A schools and C schools. Uh, then we want to get it out to our platforms and overseas locations. But of course, it's going to require uh, resources to do that. Uh, we have to do it safely and securely. These are challenges that are not insurmountable. We will figure out how to, uh, to do it eventually. Uh, but I see us uh, as a Navy going in that direction. Great. Awesome. Thank you. So, Mr. Secretary, how do we keep innovation efforts like eSailor going in, into the future? Well, it's like the McPond said, this is the way we're going to communicate with sailors. This is the way they're going to be able to keep their records. This is the way they're going to be able to manage their careers. Right. And once you get it into recruit training, which we're a long way down the road toward doing that, and once you have those devices or once you have those apps that sailors use, it's going to be impossible to turn back because uh, this is said the way that everybody else communicates, everybody else downloads the apps, it's the way they find information, it's the way they study, it's the way they do a lot of things in their lives. Mm -hmm. um, and thanks to Mick Pond Stevens, uh, this was his vision, this was his push to make sure that the Navy caught up in technology and then move to the forefront and make it a career companion so that it's not a one-time thing, it's not just when you're in recruit training, but it's there for you during your entire career and as technologies change, will change. SecNav, Mick Pond, thank you for being here and answering the questions, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you all for watching and be sure to stay tuned to the rundown for the latest regarding e-sailors.